welcome back to my channel Logan Speed Shop. Today doing some suspension testing. This is the box Max Peating Rod sent out to me probably nearly a month ago and I still haven't opened it. So let's get into it now. Not sure if it's just suspension in here or what but it is meant to be coilovers for the S13 so we can test them out. Let's see. Let's get into this. So they reached out to me said do you want to try some? I go, why not? I'm never one to say no. A couple of C-spanners. A sticker for Daniel. Nice metal one. Some coilovers. Hopefully they go nice and low, but we're going to test them in every way they can. Get these out. They look much better than the last ones I had of theirs. That's a good sign. The uh, back, go for a front. We actually put nuts on the top, which is nice. But yeah, they look pretty good. I mean, coilovers all look pretty good. So it's going to be when I get them in the car and actually start testing them, we find it out. A nice little click clacker on the top. We'll set that right to soft anyway because, hey, we want this car to ride like a dream, so hopefully they do. Alright, let's set our baseline. What are we working with? We've got some old Cusco coilovers in here. They're about 10 15 years old they drive pretty good i like them they're pretty smooth yeah they make a few noises but a doesn't really matter they would do the job but they are smooth so it'll be a good comparison as i think this should be like a baseline of how coilovers are so hopefully the max peating rods are poor for form and we'll find out soon she's running pretty rough Stalled. Bloody hell, the car is running rough. It really wants that Helltech in there soon. Well, the new Helltech Elite in there soon. Hopefully, hopefully, a few weeks we'll have it in there. They could have gone to shit for me. Just getting fuel, and the bloke next to me goes, Is that water coming from your car? And you can see there, it's dripping. So, I'm gonna get this bonnet open and see where the water's coming. Even better when you can't tell. I've got cooling up the top, a little bit of cooling over the side of the reservoir, but I can't see anything. The hose feels soft, so let's get this cap off and see if I can see where this water's coming from. Feel like it could be bloody anywhere. Oh yay. Alright, it's leaking bad, but I found it. I'm pretty sure it's the water pump. Sorry, the car's running. I'm trying to get as much water in there as I can, hold it as long as I can. I got a six pack of water. Cap's going on loose. We're gonna try and limp this bastard home. Right, so we got the water temp on there. We're at 76, that's not great. This car drives at 69 all the time, 68, 69 all the time, and it's climbing. The aim of the game here is gonna get a few more corners away, and then we're just going to go, basically stop, refill. We're trying to keep moving now, hoping for the best. Definitely a bit of panic in my face as I don't wanna deal with this situation today. This is meant to be a smooth video. Still sitting about the same temperature, which I don't know if it's a great thing because it probably just means it's got a big bloody air bubble in there that's just heating up. Oh no, we're climbing, 78. Got one more roundabout I want to get through and 
in once we're through that. I'll pull over and top that water up. Just left the cap sitting on there loose, just so it doesn't build up any pressure. Hopefully that'll help not push the leak out. Well, it's sprayed out of the cap. There's still water in there. That's a win. I didn't think it was going to be any. When I stopped at the servo, it was pretty much bone dry. The poor little SR. Yeah, I reckon the water pump's bloody dying. It's hard to tell. And it was hard to tell at the servo without lying under the car too much. I really hope it's nothing major. The water pump's super simple to do on an SR. The water pretty much goes down straight away as soon as they top it up. And I can hear it dripping away under the car. So we'll just put a little bit more in. Had to buy a whole six pack of water just because I didn't, well, I only really needed one bottle. But it was ice cold, so I thought I'd better get room temperature water at least. Had to do the best thing for the car. I can hear it dripping. Can't really see it. I was assuming it was the water pump, but it doesn't look like it now. Only a few corners from home now. We're not gonna get stuck at any traffic lights. This is good. And we're back down to 69. After that last water top up, we got up to 80-ish. But yeah, we're all right at the moment. We're on the home stretch. Oh shit. We got no water. It's gotta be all on the ground, isn't it? Wow, it's dripping out hard and fast. I'm gonna chuck my tester on here. Just basically pump some air into it and see if I can make it really piss out of a hole so I can find it. Oh, actually, I can see it. See that trail? It is the water pump. But let's make it come out real fast. Don't know if we'll even be able to get some pressure up on this gauge. Oh, we're climbing. Let's try to get up to one bar. Right up to the danger zone, right up to the edge of the red. That should give us enough bloody pressure that it really wants to come out. And I can hear it. That'll be enough. Oh, there it is. Out of the side of the water pump. It is coming out fast. Yep, water pump's rooted. See, I let the pressure off, the water stops. Ah oh, man, at least they're easy to change. Just like that, she is out. The culprit is bloody weep holes. So when the seal goes on the inside, they leak out these holes. So this is for the bin. Blade looks good. It actually spins pretty good. But yeah, she's wrecked. For the bin, I'll order another one. Well, 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 she is fixed. New water pump in there. Not that you can really see. Just bleeding the last of it up. The car is running like absolute shit. It's developed, uh, sounds like a manifold leak, a good vac leak. It's got a bit of a squeal coming from the intake somewhere. But at the moment, it's much of a muchness, so I can't get it into the garage. Otherwise, I'd start ripping everything off. So, let's test these bloody coilovers. Got one of the old ones out. I'm not gonna bother filming bloody removing coilovers, putting coilovers in. Everyone's seen it or done it. It's much of a muchness. The old ones are a bit of a leaky boy. Very dirty, actually missing one ring, but I knew about that. We've got the new ones, they actually look really good in comparison. Everything's there, we've got the nuts. One thing I did realise afterwards, I've got S15 knuckles in, so they've got the larger hole, the M14 hole, versus the M12. But, for now I'm just going to put an M12 bolt in, do it up real tight, and hope for the best, and if I feel any movement I know why. Otherwise, well, let's see he's pretty much the same. Chuck him in. Alright, credit where's credit's due. These 
banners and that style locking ring much nicer it actually grabs hold of it way better and find it doesn't slip out you can see it's sitting in there well I like that design better than the other style just a little wee cutouts these seem to hold it a lot nicer actually I'll show you see there you can actually see where it slipped out a bit as well they just seem to wear out over time new versus old for the rear you can see the bottom it's got a little bit more of a collar for the 13 or any s chassis it will be compared to the cusco and they go low that's wound right up obviously you can set your spring tension a little bit more than that but it looks like they're going to go low that's pretty much it's a little bit lower than what was removed i'm gonna set them to what was removed is it'll be right see the front probably could come down another inch springs are clearly a lot harder but that's okay leave it as it is still lets me test lets me go over bumps bit of a warm-up let it burp the rest of that coolant bubbles out not sure if the thermostat's open yet try not to hit hit by the fan can i get there we are nah bottom hose is still cold but we got the max feeding rods in honestly first impressions they look good i reckon they're going to be pretty bloody hard but for the price they are, the price point, I don't reckon you can beat them. So let's see how they drive. Should be good. Obviously you can see the back's high as well. No point slamming it. It's just for a test. Here we are, the moment of truth. This is it, guys. This is it. How are they going to ride? Hopefully well got the idle turn right up on this bloody 13 at the moment so she doesn't die because bloody hell she's riding like well driving like a bag of dicks I mean so far they're all right but how do you judge a straight road with no bumps first little bump a bit rough hard to tell let's go to some real bumpy road really find out how it feels window up so you can actually hear me and see what it's like over these bloody bumps this road is rough as the same road I went down just before with the Cuscos Put it all in 
here, but um, it's going to be so good. Starting to collect everything now. I even started looking at a brake kit for the front as well. Let's make it as nice as we possibly can, eh? So after driving around for a little bit with these coilovers, I can definitely say they're not bad. The price point's definitely there. The comfort's not too bad at all. And hey, they're going to go low. And let's be honest, if you're buying cheaper coilovers, you just want to slam your car and you'll get that done. And you'll definitely have not a bad time doing it. Quality wise, they definitely seem all right. And hey, if you guys wanted a bit of a discount code, I'll chuck my discount code up on the screen for you. That should get you 10% off, I believe. Hopefully saves you a couple of dollars and gets you to enjoy your car a little bit more. So it looks like that knocking I was feeling was just, this nut's a little bit loose. So my word of warning, make sure you check all those nuts on the top hats before you put them in. And it should ride a hell of a lot nicer. I'm just gonna nip all these up now. Should be good to go again.